But why, oh why, was this guy not cast in the role? Are guys fans of Tom Holland or are they fans of Spider-Man? You know I mean, who, who asked for an Uncharted film? Can I first start by asking who asked for an Uncharted movie? Who, I mean, who asked for for one? Because we'll, we'll, we'll break down as to um, why they actually did it and just the stupidity and why it is going to fill after the bad reviews. But just off the bat is who asked for an Uncharted film? When you play Uncharted, what is, why are the Uncharted games so amazing? Is it really because of the story? Really? Is the story as good as Half Life? Is the story as good as Halo One? Is the story as as, as good as the Legacy of 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 Cain? Is is the story as good as MGS Splinters? No, you played for the incredible gameplay, superb graphics, and some of the best set pieces I think in any video, video game. Some of the way they've replicated the set pieces and how you can interact and experience the set pieces playing as Nathan Drake is what makes the games amongst some of the best video games ever made. You don't play it for the story. That's, Uncharted is a, is a poor man stabbing man's Indiana Jones. Yeah, the story is okay, but no, the real appeal is the amazing gameplay, probably the best gameplay you, you'll ever see in any game, and the superb graphics and the incredible, incredible production design. But let's just take a look first at um, Exhibit A. Let's look, let's look first at Exhibit A. So, as you know, Unch the Uncharted movie is coming out, and um, 54%. Oops, sorry. I think I need to change that um, background, man. Uh, where are we were, yeah, it's in that background. Fifty-four percent. So that's that's it gets real. That's real. That like that's like a real Mac. Fifty-four percent. Fifty-four percent. You know, second cat, second cat percent. Now people can say, "Oh my gosh, it's just um." Um, bro, you, you can't just base this off of this because it's only freaking, um, let me see, you can't base this off of, um, um, Rotten Tomatoes because it's only Rotten Tomatoes. It's only Rotten Tomatoes. Who cares about Rotten Tomatoes? Rotten Tomatoes is, is a loser. No one cares about Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> but the issue is, um, it's what guys are saying. You know, because for me, I truly believe that most of the reviews are going to be bad because I can tell nine times out of ten. I'm not right, but nine times out of ten, I can tell how good a movie is from the trailer. And just from the trailer, I already know that this, this movie is a class class B brick. But stuff like perhaps the film's Walmart approach to its action would have been more forgivable if the Uncharted games weren't so frequently suffused with Spielbergian flair. Again, action being trash and doesn't replicate how amazing, as I said, the set pieces are in the Uncharted game. Um, but you can look at all the, 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 the things there, 54%, because now, people don't always ride with the critics. Because for me, I don't look at Rotten Tomatoes, but Rotten Tomatoes just gives you a general idea. Rotten Tomatoes is not a review, it's an aggregator that just gives you the general consensus of, of critics. I have really liked films that have gotten a low Critic score, Mark. I've always said Cable Guy is one of my top five films of all time. You got a, a low critical score. The Last Jedi got a super high critical score, and that movie is is a, is a piece of trash. So it isn't a big one. But all I'm saying is that for the trailer I saw for that Uncharted movie looks like a garbage movie, and this wasn't a piece of score sides with the, what, what with the trailer that, that I just saw. Now I want you to look at. Because I want, before we even get to Tom Holland, maybe you don't know who Nathan Fillion is. Nathan Fillion is Nathan Drake. <laughs> like, it's not that he looks like him, he is him. And I probably think that Naughty Dog modeled the Nathan Drake character, just not only his look, his mannerisms, his character, the way he talks, like Nathan Fillion. Because I think, I think, is it Firefly? He was at, I don't know what that, I think it was Firefly or so forth. It's been a lot of these like cult sci fi things. But I want you just to look at, this dude. Uh, no, that's not the one. Uh, there we go. The guy on the right is Nathan Fillion, the actor. And the guy on the left is Nathan Drake. Guys, <laughs> that's 
Nathan. Because now, all because you cast the, the right guy doesn't mean you make a good film, but at least it puts you in a strong position. <laughs> it puts you in a just position. And he's a he's he's a he's a decent actor. I think he's in a TV series called Castle. But he's not an amazing actor, but he's he's decent. But just like um, because there's another one that I even want you to, to look at, but it is very key because sometimes you don't need an amazing actor, you just need the right actor. That's the thing. You don't need an amazing actor, you just need the right actor. And if you have the right actor, that's all you need. Guys, just look at that image for me. Just please look, look at that image. I want you to look at that image very, very closely and just understand and just say to yourself that why or oh why was this guy not cast in the role? You know, why or oh why was this guy not cast in the role? Because it is so obvious and so clear that he's that dude. I mean, guys, look, okay, okay, okay sorry, I'll make it bigger for you. Like, look, and it's even more so, they actually made a um, fan film on Uncharted fan film starring him. But guys, that's him. I swear to you, I promise you, these guys, 100%, 100%, these guys had to have modeled Nathan Drake or Nathan Fillion. Because, and guys, it's not it's just only the, the, the likeness. The likeness is, is one thing. How they act, how they tell jokes, how he even speaks and talks, it is like Nathan Fillion. To the most of that, yeah, it's him. Because it is almost exactly the same as a situation that we have here. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Here we go. Ron Reynolds is not the best actor in the world. He isn't. <laughs> Ron Reynolds is not the greatest actor in the world. He's okay. This is, I hated him in Blade Three, and I blame him for Blade Three. But he's not. He's not great. Ron Reynolds is Deadpool <laughs> because of the way Ron Reynolds speaks. He talks how he cracks jokes and so forth. He is Deadpool. So it's not that, oh, they're actually a really good actor. No, no, this guy is Deadpool. He is the character. And for me, casting is one of the key elements of making a film. Because if you get the casting wrong, as they did with that bomber's Henry Cavill and Superman, there's only so far that your film can do because you can make them. Perfect example is Kingdom of Heaven. Kingdom of Heaven is probably really Scott's, one of really Scott's best films. It's one of his best films. But you cast Legolas, a.k.a. Orlando Bloom, as your lead. Horrible casting. The film is only so good because he brings the film down. Um, so all I ask, guys, is why or why? Why or why or why would you cast Tom Holland? They don't look the same. People say, oh, no, no, he's, he's, he's a younger um, Nathan Drake. <laughs> Can I understand the stupidity? Why would you want a younger Nathan Drake when we are so accustomed to the Nathan Drake in this form that we see for the guy and to, to, to the right? Why would we want a younger version? Do you know why? It shows the stupidity of these idiots in studios. Because Spider-Man is right now, right now Spider-Man is super popular. So Tom Holland is one of the most popular actors out there based off of Spider-Man. So what they're doing is using the Uncharted pop popularity and popularity of Tom Holland and so forth to get bots in seats, specifically for that first weekend. So you can look, you can see the brick logic that these guys are applying because they don't care about the right casting. They don't, they're not getting this because Tom Holland is a great actor. They're getting it because he's popular. Tom Holland is not a great actor. <laughs> he isn't. He just fits well for the Spider-Man role and character, but he's not a great actor. Because you can see, his his film with um, Daisy Ridley, really, that bombed. The other film that he did was called Cherry, that bombed. Just as of them, you have not have, have bombed. So he needs freaking Mar Marvel. But like, can you see the stupidity of saying, oh, I'm going to write off his popularity as Spider-Man and write off the popularity of, 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 of the game. But the issue is, because, and that just shows you how warped Hollywood are. With these bad reviews coming through, and the fact that Tom Holland can't carry a film outside of Marvel and Spider-Man, if you don't get a massive influx for that first weekend, you're screwed. Because they are hoping and they are praying fans of the Uncharted video games will watch the film first weekend, and fans of, of, fans of Spider-Man will watch it. 
but it's a huge bankability because if the reviews are really bad enough and guys say, nah, this ain't like Uncharted, you won't roll through. Specifically, you, you don't cast Nathan Fillion and a guy who looks nothing like Nathan Drake, you probably won't want to go. Are guys fans of Tom Holland or are they fans of Spider-Man? I believe fans are, are more fans of Spider-Man and Tom Holland than Spider-Man rather than they are fans of Tom Holland because how many people turned up for Cherry or for his other freaking movie? And Cherry was directed by the Russo brothers who did Infinity War and um, Endgame. But my thing now, guys, getting, again, getting the right casting isn't, doesn't always say what's up to you, man, but it puts you in the best possible position. Chris Evans. Chris Evans is not the greatest actor. He is okay. Um, I recently watched this film, Sun, Sunshine, um, directed by Dan, Danny Boyle. And I think he did this way before Captain America. It's okay. It's not that great. And I'm just, sorry, the film is okay, but his performance in it is, is okay. You can see that Joe Johnston, who actually created um, Boba Fett, said, and he was the director of the first Captain America, that, you know, this is, this is Captain America. I know that there may be better actors out there, but no, this guy is, he is that role. And you can see for Chris Evans, there is nothing he will do for the rest of his career. Nothing he will do will ever be as good as this role that he had right now as Captain America. He was just born for this role, you know? So that's why casting is very important. But I mean, because my thing is, even if they did cast Nathan Fillion and so forth, who, who are the writers? Who is the director? director? And now I'm, I'm even hearing, because I was watching the Angry Joe show, that they want... Um, what what, what we call it? They want um God, my, my, my head is going crazy. They want Tom Holland to be Jack and Daxter. First of all, you listen to come and say, Oh yeah, I want Tom Holland to be Jack. Tom Holland needs Spider-Man. And I think the harsh truth that people don't want to accept is Unless this dude is wearing that Spider-Man outfit, we don't care about this dude. I don't mean to be harsh on through. I'm just, this is just the harsh and brutal truth. Unless you're Spider-Man, I'm cool. <laughs> okay. So unless you're Spider-Man, we're, we're, we're cool. Because you're just not a good enough actor. Okay. You're not a good enough actor to carry films outside of the freaking franchise. You're not. And bro, the probably the best actor in the whole of this MCU is Danny Jr., who was Oscar nominated for Chaplin. Back in the early 90s, I think. And even when he did his, I think it was called The Judge, even with him, Robert du 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 Duval, they did it with Robert Duval, and that's bombed. So if Robert Downey Jr., who is six times the actor Tom Holland is, his films bomb out of, of MC, what do you think Tom Holland can freaking do? But the key thing, and I think this is the bottom line here, we don't, we play these video games for the experience. I never asked for an, an Uncharted film. No one asked for an Uncharted film. We the reason why we play Uncharted is not because of the amazing story. If you if you make it a, a Halo film, I'm talking about that song. But what we want, what we want specifically is good, is to experience the game. We want to play the game. <laughs> you know, we actually want to play the game. We don't actually we don't want to just sit down and watch a film. And someone actually is a very funny thing on, on Twitter. Someone said that. I would actually sit down and watch walkthroughs of the video game on YouTube than watch these bombers movies. And I, f I fully get it. 100%. I, I'm with you. Yeah, like, I would, I would I'd rather watch walkthroughs than this. But Hollywood, you understand that? Hollywood, they have no artistic integrity. They're here to make money. And the thing about movies is it's a balance. The, the key to life is a balance. Of course, it's a business. But what makes you money is good art. So if, like, bro, if that Mortal Kombat movie was actually good, it'd make a lot of money. If these video game movies were actually good, they'll make a lot of money. And I think the issue that they have is they're trying to just focus on just picking out different pieces from the video game to appeal to the fans and just shoving, like, a Michael Fassbender there, just shoving a Jake Gildon Hall there, now just shoving it to hand. Okay, big, huge, huge star. Let's get all of the moments from the video game. Well, cool. No, no, no. Just make a good film. Forget the video game. Take the elements of the video game. Make a good film. Just make a good film is a good film is a good film. But is what it is. But I mean, I mean, who who asked for an uncharted film?